Pope Francis today ended a landmark summit on the Roman Catholic Church's sex abuse scandal by calling abusive clergy tools of Satan. But the pontiff also repeated old promises. He offered no solid remedies, and that disappointed a lot of victims and members of the faithful. Seth Doan is at the Vatican. Pope Francis called clerical sex abuse an evil that undermines the church's credibility. The church will never seek to hush up or not take seriously any case, he vowed. The pontiff today offered eight best practices to use as guidelines in developing legislation for the church, ideas like training in seminaries and supporting victims. I'm just feeling really dismayed. Phil Saviano was one of a dozen survivors of clerical sex abuse to meet with organizers on the eve of the summit. He could not believe the Pope's speech today. It felt like I had been duped because earlier in this week I had expressed a degree of cautious optimism. After the survivor meeting, I really felt that they were listening to us. Saviano, who was abused at age 11 by his priest in Massachusetts, was featured in the Oscar-winning Hollywood film Spotlight. This is big. This is not just Boston. This is Nearly whole two decades whole after world. Boston's crisis, Saviano right. says um, it's deja vu. If this was not an exercise in getting things right, then what was this? It was a very expensive publicity stunt. Father Thomas Reese is a senior analyst with Religion I, News Service. Uh, the Pope needed to hit a home run, and he didn't. Rules are already in place for priests, so one of the big questions of this summit was how to close the loopholes in the laws for the higher-ranking bishops accused of abusing or covering up. How do we hold accountable bishops? That's what American people are. Where's the system? Who, how do we punish bishops that don't do what they're supposed to do? Do we have any new answers? Not, not at this meeting. Tonight, David, the Vatican is saying there will be follow-up. We are told to expect a document tightening sex abuse laws inside Vatican City State and a handbook for bishops about how to handle abuse. Americans are waiting for that follow-up. Thank you, Seth.